To write the Lewis structure for XeBr4, that's xenon tetrabromide, let's count the valence electrons up. Xenon group 18, sometimes called 8A, has 8 valence electrons. Bromine's in group 17, it has 7, but we have 4 bromine atoms. So that equals a total of 36 valence electrons for the XeBr4 Lewis structure. Xenon's the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center of our Lewis structure, and then we'll put four bromines around it. So we have 36 total valence electrons. We'll start by putting pairs of electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds, and then we'll complete the octets on the bromines. At this point, everything has an octet. Each of the atoms has eight valence electrons, so it seems like a good Lewis structure, except we're only using 32 valence electrons, and we have 36 valence electrons for the XeBr4 Lewis structure. But because xenon can have an expanded octet, we can place the remaining four valence electrons around the xenon, and we're now using all the valence electrons. Xenon has more than eight, but that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. Oftentimes you'll see the pairs of electrons involved in the chemical bond replaced with a line. Each line represents two valence electrons. So now you can see a little clearer these lone pair of electrons on the central xenon. So we're using all our valence electrons. The bromines have octets. The xenon has more than eight. That's okay. This is the Lewis structure for xenon tetrabromide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.